Is it eight o'clock yet? <coughs> good evening, good evening, good evening. Okay, so live on Lime Street. Lime Street? Live on Lime Street? Happy days. <coughs> if I've woke you up, good evening, good morning, good day, good night to everybody all over that's watching. <coughs> <clears throat> and whatever time it is that you're watching, good evening, good evening, good evening. So, first of all, good evening. Second of all, clean the glasses. I've got young Lewis that's waiting. Well, I'm saying in the wings, he's not popped on just yet. Uh, I'm still waiting for young Lewis to come on. I'm supposed to have James on tonight as well. But unfortunately, James has been caught out in the wind. Uh, and my good friend, Paul, Paul Radcliffe from The World, uh, says, give me a little bit, Mark. I am going to do a little bit. Uh, and tonight it's all geared around. Look at me. I'm just tidying up as I'm going along. It's all geared around uh, our caves, our setups. Okay. And what we've got set up, and more importantly, what you've got set up, so on tonight's stream, I need to see your comments. I need to have all your hints and tips and ideas. Not for me, because my shed is literally set up to the umph degree, apart from that end. That's the business end. That's the family business end. Lawnmowers and bikes and things like that. Uh, but this end, this is my end. Okay. Uh, now, before we get into any of that, uh, drop me a comment, give me a thumbs up and all that kind of thing. Okay. This is either going to be the world's shortest live stream uh, or we're actually going to be okay. I've just had a notification. And I can't even swipe down because I'm using my phone as my camera. So uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to have a look through Club, uh, which is what we normally do. I'm just going to have a check on my screen. Uh Oh, oh, Lewis, bless him. Just give me two minutes, Mark. Give me two minutes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. No problem there at all, mate. Uh, just going to go through a club. And I took some great photos today as well. I want to share those with you as well. Uh, going to share my screen. Uh, and hopefully you will see what we've seen today. Some great enjoyment. Okay. What are we in? We're in April. We're in April already. Okay. Uh, down at club today, Upton Village Hall, 6th of the 4th, 2024, Mr. Andrews present and Chris Barlow. Uh, I've not done percentages yet. Mr. Bridge, nice to see Mr. Bridge back down at club uh, after everything that I've talked about with Marky Mark. Mark and Leanne down at club today. Uh, great to see, obviously. Obviously great to see. I'm just going to... I need to talk into my microphone as well a little bit more. Uh, Lewis, the machine, is coming on uh, to chat with me shortly. Uh, Heath Denton in today, a couple of bonus balls for Heath. Uh, and very nice to finally be able to give Heath his uh, his Zuddy top that he ordered absolutely ages ago, but it just kept putting behind and behind and behind. But I've delivered that today. Uh, Ian Clement uh, and Davy House sharing a table. Bill popped in, even though he's been really, really busy. Uh, Bill's just had a week in the Isle of Wight. Uh, so I need to catch up with Bill, our Billiam. Uh, but uh, didn't know that he'd be able to make it today or not, but he did, he did, uh, he did pop his head in. Uh, Mark Lid, Mr. Lid, good evening, sir. Uh, who's uh, free subs today because we're celebrating Mark's birthday uh, and you don't pay subs on your birthday. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Paul Pat, uh, great lad is Paul, teaching Dougie how to paint figures. Uh, our Graham, uh, again, all the way over from Cleethorpes. Great to see you, Graham. Graham's actually, even though he comes a long way, he's literally just part of family now, uh, which is quite bizarre. Okay, Mr. Chris, uh, Mr. Chris has been to see me today to order a new hoodie, which I've made a note of. Doug Tuck, uh, Doug Tuck sat at the side of the general, general pattern. Uh, Simon in today, Andy White in today, Marky Mark, Mark Wilson in today, Andy Art up. Uh, and again, hats off to Andy because the journey that 
he makes is uh, considerably uh, massive. Uh, Tim Nick and Neil Singleton, uh, just labouring on Neil. Okay, Neil's been to see me today. Uh, and me and Neil have had a catch up. Neil runs a, a separate group. Neil was originally part of Sesco right from the off. Uh, Neil uh, now runs uh, a group called Trinity uh, with, uh, uh, with with a couple of his friends. Uh, and Neil's been to see me today, uh, and we've had a really good catch up and a really good chat. Uh, and nice to have Neil back. So, who didn't come today? Uh, Mr. Beto, unfortunately, no show. Uh, here's our young Lewis. I'm just going to add him to the stage. Uh, there he is. Uh, Mr. Mr. Beto has said no show, unfortunately, today. I don't miss him, and so was Bob, but Bob is poorly. Uh, Trev, no show for Trev. Uh, Ange is poorly as well. Gene and Andy, something else on today. Martin rather thought he'd been in, but unfortunately not. Uh, no sign of Shara, poorly. Uh, not seen Andrew for quite a while. Rob Smith, I need Rob to get in touch. Uh, Dale comes on the second meeting in the month. Craigie stints. Craigie, old Craigie. I did invite him on tonight, but uh, Craig's been out and bought a camper van, so he's in his boats with that quite literally. Mr. Stringer, no show. Uh, so that gives us a grand total of 18, 18 boys and girls down at club uh, and celebrating uh, Mr. Little's birthday uh, and also Mr. Barry Slinger's birthday. So <coughs> I've chesty cough. You can see on the screen there we've got <coughs> we've got young Low the machine. Good evening, young man. Good evening. Evening, evening. So that is that. Now, what I'm going to do first, first and foremost, Lou, uh, <clears throat> I'm going to share my screen because, 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 because I did manage to take uh, a couple of photos today. Okay. So we're going to kick off with the birthday boy, Marky Mark. So we've got Mark Little enjoying a little bit of building. Uh, today, let's have a little zoom in. Uh, fettling, I think Mark calls that. A bit of fettling, Lewis. Why have I gone that way? Don't need to see that. Uh, 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 and again, our Marky Mark doing a bit of fettling. Then we've got uh, Bill and Dave. Always nice to see Bill and Dave. So we didn't think that Bill would be in today because he's had a lot of travelling to do up from Isla White. Uh, that's the young fellow that I'm talking about, Andy. Uh, Andrew uh, comes an awful long way by bus as well, okay, uh, which is no mean feat at all. Mr. Chris getting stuck into a little bit of building. Uh, and there he is, at zero box given off our market bridge. And Leanne uh, having a wee smile there because I know I said, come on, make me smile. There's our grain from Cleethorpes. Looks like he's building some kind of tank. I didn't manage to get round round today because I was all busy. Uh, Andy White, lovely to see Andy. Sat outside a Spider-Man building, Mr. Chris. Uh, that's our Heath, uh, who's finally rocking that Zuddy. There you go, look. He's finally rocking the Zuddy. Uh, so it's not Mr. Chris, it's Heath. Apologies for that. Now, this two pair of chuffing doilands, they absolutely crack me up. Dougie there on your right-hand side. Dougie's my right-hand man down at club. Uh, and Paul, uh, part of the admin team as well. Uh, and between them, uh, they've been doing some figure painting uh, teachings by the general, Mr. Paul Patton. Thank you very much for that. Uh, and you can see a bit difference in photos, you know, sort of like looking and pointing off. I'm saying, will you please give me a decent photo? So they both gave me the uh, schoolboy thumbs up there, like you do. Know, look at Dougie's face. I'll tell you what, DT, it looks like you've lost a bit of weight there, son. Looking quite the man. That's my boy, George, uh, sat inside a figure painter, Mr. Mark Wilson. Enjoying their time together. I'm pretty sure, you know, every time I do catch up with Mark, he says, do you know what? Your your George is just so bloody knowledgeable, uh, which is quite funny. But the piece de resistance is that one. 
Uh, and Dave pulled the uh, Dave pulled the right face just in the nick of time. Uh, old Bill there looking and, and Clem. I certainly won't like to be on back end of one of them. You know what I mean? One of them punches, definitely not. So I'm just going to skip back 20, 30, 40, 20 photos. I'm just going to skip back 20 odd photos just to show. Oh my God. So that's the business end of the shed, like I said. That will last Sunday, Easter Sunday. Uh, me and George cleaning our fishing tackle boxes. Not that you need to see that, uh, but it did catch a nice bream. And this is the project that I have literally just finished. Uh, thank God that I've got this off the bench. For the people who uh, follow my builds on YouTube, because obviously I do the build side and I do the club side, this is what I've been doing. Uh, and you can see there it's looking uh, weathered uh, and uh, and well nice. Well nice. That's a 1 in 48. Okay. 1 in 48. Revel Euro Fighter Typhoon. And I did take a couple of, uh, a couple of shots. This character down here, uh, is known in anime as Blackjack. And there's his name, which is why I superimposed his picture. I thought it was quite fitting, actually. He's got the the black, the white, and the red. Uh, the black, the white, and the red there. Almost like a grey shirt. And I just thought, you know what? That's really eye-catchy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pinch that and stick that on the pictures. Different angles with this bird. I'm certainly not going to tell you too much because the uh, post build video is uploading literally as we speak. T literally one minute on my countdown clock. One minute has come on saying you are live in one minute and, I've, and I'm uploading this particular video. So you will see that as well. Uh, nice bit of a close up there. Uh, you can see a little bit of the weathering work. Okay, it's not too much because it is so difficult to uh, to weather a blackbird. Uh, but I'm not going to get into it too much. Please watch the video and see what you think. Uh, and then the final shot, there is obviously the acrylic stem there that I've managed to Photoshop out. Uh, it's a shame that that's not a blue sky. And again, you can see uh, not entirely black, black. Uh, there is quite a bit of weathering across that piece okay last shot i do like the back end tail i do like those those angled shots i really really do like them so we'll get rid of that and go back to me and low uh and i'm gonna say good evening again i'm gonna put a banner on let's create uh let's let's do a a tick tock tick tock let's put a banner across the bottom Lewis, uh, we're, we are 13 minutes in. I'm literally out of breath. How are you doing? I'm all right. How are you, Mark? I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. About 20 minutes ago, I wasn't all right because uh, my daughter came in and said, can you give me a lift tour? And I'm like, really? Uh, and then I last said, uh, well, I've got to go and pick George up. And I said, no, not at this time. I'm going live in like 20 minutes. So I've had to get the uh, get the missus all fettled up in the car. Uh, and off she goes uh, while I sit here and do this, uh, which is what I enjoy doing. Not that I don't enjoy going and picking my kids up. <laughs> uh, but uh, they know that I do this after club. Uh, on a Saturday night, uh, so please make your plans around that. So the whole point of tonight, Lewis, so I want to talk about your shed, my shed, because Paul, who's coming over shortly in two weeks' time, Paul has decided that he's going to put a shed in his back garden and put his model room in that shed, okay? So what I need people to do is comment on... Let's just have a look, see if there's any comments on. We need to see people commenting uh, and saying, actually, Paul, you will need one of these and you won't need one of those. So in your shed, you're actually in your bedroom, Lou, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Luckily, my, my bed's, like, raised, so I've got a desk underneath it. Pretty cool. I didn't know that, actually. So, underneath the desk is where my compressor is. Yeah. 
it's where I store a lot of my kits and rest of them are just stacked up. I can see them there. How many kits have you got in there, mate? Two, three, four, five, ten, ten, ten. There's probably about 20. That's not bad, that is it? Well, if you think about what's at my mum's, though, it's probably about 100. Oh, you don't? Oh, right. Okay, cool. Not the bads. At my mum's, I've just got you're, a you're... normal desk. Right. Okay. Now, you've had a pretty good uh, good club today, mate, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Why? Well, bonus ball again. Well, bonus ball again. That's the word that we're looking for. So, down at club, we run a bonus ball. And I say it every time. If you run a club, you generate a little bit of income at that club uh, where you play bonus ball. So it's 59 numbers on a sheet. We charge £2 a ball. Uh, and 80% of the culminative winnings goes to the bonus ball number that's pulled out. So uh, last, uh, what we're talking about here, we're talking about March. So the bonus ball that were pulled out on the last Saturday of March in the National Lottery was number... I can't remember. 17, I just think I'm. Well, number 17. <laughs> and who got number 17? Young Low. So that's how it works, isn't it? The thing is, the, the funny thing about it is, is that one March. So, oh, we didn't have a winner in January because not all the balls had sold. So in February, all January's jackpot money went into February. And whenever it's a rollover, all the balls normally sell. Balls, all the balls normally sell, which they did, which put it on a massive, massive, big, like, double, ro well, no, a single rollover. Uh, and I think jackpot for that was about 154? Yeah, 156, I think it was. 156. So January, no winner pulled. February, we've got January's money and February's money. The bonus ball gets pulled out. Who won that? Me, Lewis. Okay, so we all have a laugh and a joke about that. Bearing in mind, he takes eighty percent of the entire pot because twenty percent comes back into the tin and it lets us do stuff. So February, end of February, we pull the bonus ball out. Who's won it? Young Lewis has won it, and we're all like, "Oh, chuffing hell, Johnny!" Because Lou, you had a big win last year as well, didn't you? Yeah, with another 150 quid in summer last year. 150 pound in summer last year. So this so the, the, the beauty of it is the beauty of it is is that uh it's Lewis's mum that, that actually chooses his numbers. <laughs> and she goes off Stevie Gerrard's football numbers because apparently she's a big Liverpool fan, Lou. Am I right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, somebody's got to yeah. So she pulls, so she, what am I bloody standing on here? So she pulls Stevie Gerrard's old numbers and puts them down for Lewis's bonus ball numbers. Uh, and then, yeah, young Lou happens to, to roll over into March and uh, and takes another 90 quid off us as well. So, you know, what, what we all said was that we're not going to play bonus ball anymore, Lou, are we? Nah. No, we're just going to set direct debits up straight into Lewis's bank yeah. account. Yeah, all right. All right, have you heard him? How old is he? 16. Cheek, yeah. the, cheek, the cheek, proper cheek. Okay. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know, we do get people that are down there that will go, I'll have number. And it just do not work. It absolutely does not work when you're doing birthdays and anniversaries. And that's my kids. And that's our last. And that <laughs> Andy White had the best solution. He literally got the pen today in his hand, Lois. Closed his eyes and went, bot that one. And and you might as well because it is just such a random thing. Okay. Apart from Stevie Gerrard's numbers. Yeah. <laughs> of course. So, <laughs> so our, our house, it, house is in the house. House is in the house. 20 kits in low stash. Take him all of the way. Well, to more the... than 20. Times that by 10. Time that by 10, Dave. Yeah, that's why we're calling the machine because he just absolutely eats uh, eats kits for breakfast. I don't know. However, I digress. We're talking about sheds. 
Uh, I did actually ask Dave uh, if he were popping popping down to his shed to, tonight to join us because uh, his his ankles are a lot better. I'm so pleased to say his ankles are a lot better. You were sat close to him today, Lewis. Yeah, having a good laugh with uh, him and Clem. A good laugh with him and Clem. Yeah. Do dare I dare I even ask what the topics of conversation were? Best not. Best not. Dave are doing some suspicious things. What on eBay or something? Yeah. I'll see. If you're watching, if you want to elaborate what suspicious things are, feel free. Wait for comments to come in there, I'll have Dave. Oh God. Young Lois, <clears throat> young Lois, you've really gelled with them two guys though, mate, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. And Graham. Yeah. And Graham as well. Oh, I didn't know that you'd uh, got a good friendship with Graham. He sits on the other side of the room to you, mate. Yeah, I'm getting quite well with Graham. He's a good lad, is Graham. He's a very yeah. good lad. Uh, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to know if Housie were going to come down today uh, onto the live stream because uh, Housie's uh, did some remodelling in his house a couple of years since and he's actually got a proper purpose-built man cave, uh, all singing, all dancing. Uh, and, uh, and I was hoping that he were going to come on. However, his ankle must not be up to it. Now, he's put another comment on there. Uh, Oi, Lewis, please don't. Yeah, please don't. I think I've got a big stash because I've got like five kits or something. Oof, is that it? Yeah, mate. Yeah. I've got a more five next to my legs. What's up? Right, so talk to me about your set. So let's do both setups. So yeah. down at your dad's where you are now. Yeah. So you've got a raised bed. Yep. And? Well, under the desk is where I have my compressor for my airbrush. Yeah. Um, I've got plug sockets so I can charge my phone and stuff. Plug yeah. my light in. I've got a light fitted to top it bed. Yeah. Um, simple, just tie wrap it on. I've got my um, airbrush booth in front of me. I've yeah. got a mat here. I've got my spool yeah. holder. Blue roll. <laughs> Because um, I'm only here like a few days a week, it does me because I mainly just do my painting here. Because oh, I can't do, can't do my airbrushing at all, there's not enough room. Right. So okay. I, I usually do my building. Yeah, mate. And uh, my dad's is where I usually try and get my airbrush, airbrushing done. And does that work for you? Does, is that all yeah. right? I, yeah, it works perfectly for me. Do you ever sometimes get home and go, shit, I haven't done that? I don't think so, because usually I go over everything really carefully. Brilliant. Now, down at your mum's, that's where you reside. Yep. So, bedroom, is, is that geared up around modelling as well? The bedroom's bigger, but a lot of it is case. There's about... There's a corner that's dead, that's like rammed with kits. Under my bed is rammed with kits. Rammed um, with kits. Yeah, there's just kits everywhere. Yeah. Um, I've got shelves, my wardrobe and my drawers. Then yeah. TV. Rammed with kits. Might as well be. Might as well. Um, out, out of all those kits that you've got, what's what's your favourite three? What what can you put a finger on it? They're not in any order, but one of them would be the uh, Airfix 148 Electric Lightning. Uh, really? Yeah. You're not even an aircraft builder. <laughs> Are you? Uh, no, not really. No, not The other really. one would be uh, the Meng. What's it? I, I don't, can't remember the name of it, but it's an APC. Really nice. Yeah. And yeah. the other one would be... Probably my um, DAS work, one to 16 pounds a three. Okay. Expensive? That's about 130 quid new. Expensive? Yeah, expensive enough. But one to 16, that's not too okay. bad. I'm just going to have a look. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it's cool. So, what are the competitor ones? Uh, I'm just having them? a look for some. Okay. What? Oh, my God. Right, so, I'm just going to... Uh, I don't want to share my screen again. Uh, I'm going to share my screen, and we're going to just have a quick two minutes about what I want to share there, young low. So... Uh, myself, yourself, and Alsi, we are the YouTube creators, aren't we, down at Club? Yeah. Uh, and I said I said to these two guys, I said, I want to design a T-shirt uh, that you can obviously wear when you want. Uh, however, uh, let's just have a look. I'm going to share my screen, right? And that's the design that I've got. All right. So this is Lewis's. So, multitasking, loves a beer, requires coffee, problem solver, and Lewis Dell modelling up in the top right-hand corner. <coughs> Plastic armour mechanic with the Club Phoenix on. YouTube logo there. Uh, warning sarcasm inside. Now, what I've got there is uh, you probably can't, or you might be able to see, depends on what you're watching on. Uh, there is a barcode there in the middle, and underneath that, uh, there's a set of figures. I've now, I don't know if you noticed or not, Lewis, but no. right. So those figures are one in 35, one in 72, one in 48, one in 24, one in 32, and one in 144. Can you see those all right? Yeah. So those are the numbers that I've put onto that barcode. Uh, because this is Lewis's, it's caution, build it, paint it, job done. Uh, with an R rating of 18, because we do have the odd curse word in there. 100% awesome <coughs> content creator. Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club, original and still the best. So that's the one that I've come up with, Lewis. And what we're going to do is I've got uh, Gail at Glow Clothing in Featherstone. She does our merch. Uh, and she is currently looking at changing that design into what's called an EPS file. Uh, because if she doesn't do that and then just prints that straight from her computer onto a T-shirt, as daft as it sounds, all that black will be there on the design. And if the black T-shirt is ever so slightly different to the black on this particular design, it will show through, and I don't want it to. I just want it to be all of that. Uh, and while I were at it, I designed one for houses, modelling shed. So same at the top, multitasker, loves a beer. Requires coffee problem solver, houses modeling shed. Uh, and Dave, because Dave literally will build anything that you put under his nose, uh, he's a plastic kit mechanic. And then everything down at the bottom there is the same. Uh, with, I think it's a slightly bigger Phoenix and it's pointing in a different direction. That's because of the word armor uh, is bigger than kit. And if you just look at that, you can see I flipped that image round. Uh, and then for myself, for myself, obviously, uh, slightly different at the top. The three are the same, but loves a tornado. Uh, Mark Andrews model vlog, plastic aircraft mechanic, and then some. Obviously, be the guys that's all the running about I do down at club. Uh, and the, I think the badges are slightly different down at the bottom or other. No, slightly bigger. <laughs> Slightly bigger club phoenix with the seven star on because we are seven years old this year. Uh, original and still the best. And so we do like them, low. They're all right, aren't they? Yeah, they're nice. Yeah, they're nice. They're all right, then. Uh, and like I say, I'm just waiting for Gail to come through and say I've managed to change those to the correct file format, otherwise, her computer won't read it correctly. Uh, again, just waiting for Paul to come on. Uh, and like I said earlier on, it's either going to be a decent live stream or the shortest live stream in the world at 29 minutes so far. If you're not aware, so my particular layout, Lewis, you've been to my my shed, haven't you, mate? Yeah, but not since you've uh, done it up a bit. Not since I've done it up a bit. So basically, uh, my shed is, uh, well, it's my garage. Uh, I park the car on the drive. 
Uh, the glass cabinets that I've got uh, over there up against the door, uh, and that's primarily to stop the wind from coming through and hitting me right sat over here at the back of the shed. And my garage, it's actually about uh, 15 metres away from the house. Uh, so, uh, so that every, because I've got quite a quite a loud voice, uh, and people people can't hear me in the house. Uh, I, apparently, I'm not uh, I, I'm not very good at whispering. Uh, so, my glass cabinets are over there with all my models in, and at the minute over there, I've got a trestle table set up with my infinite backdrop uh, because the picture that I showed you earlier of the typhoon I took against that backdrop. Over there, I've got shed stuff, which is lawnmower, hedge trimmer, hoovers, uh, silicon guns, drills, bits, spanners, and all that sort of stuff. Then I've got my massive, fantastic fridge, mate. You've got to have one of them. A little bit more garage stuff, but it was this particular area that I wanted to uh, try to uh, develop, if you will. Uh, because obviously I'm aware that I do live streaming and I do model build reviews, post build reviews. Uh, and I was very conscious uh, last year that when my bench was set under the window, the camera was pointing at me, but then you could see all of that in the background. Uh, and I didn't want that. I wanted something, well, I'm going to say nice, not nice, just plain and, and quite, uh, uh, quite uh, neutral in the background. So I've got a massive black sheet and I've sort of like put that up at the top uh, and, uh, and I've got one of the runners there as well. Uh, and that is just, uh, that's a club runner. All my paints and all my supplies are over on this side. You can see <coughs> this is uh, a couple of those uh, Ikea Billy bookcase units. Uh, and last year, the kitchen that we had in the canteen at work, it all got uh, ripped out so that the owners could put a new canteen in for us. Uh, luckily for me, uh, the old units that came out were white, uh, which is why I've now got multiple shelves in there because I just used those carcasses and made myself some shelves. And everything is at hand, which is really, really cool. Uh, Dave says that logo, Mark, is it on the front or is it on the back or the front? It's going to go on the back uh, uh, so that we can have the Club Phoenix like that one on the front. Uh, however, oh, just pinged. However, uh, I'm pretty sure, mate, that if you wanted it on both uh, or you want it on the front or whatever, I'm not, uh, I'm not your dad. I always say that. I'm not your dad uh, and I can't dictate to you what you want. Uh, because Dave just said that he will prefer the front. Do you know what? What she'll probably do is, uh, if you want it on front, Dave, she'll do it on front, mate. Uh, if you want it on the back, she'll do it on the back. And if you want it on both, I'm pretty sure uh, that she will do it on both. So, just need to come out of all, all of this because I've just pinged. Uh, yes, uh, and again, I did turn my messages. So, uh, who's chatting to me now? Uh, let's get rid of that and uh, let's go. Let me just come back up here a little bit. Uh, back into there. I'm, I'm literally multitasking. Multitasking. Okay. Dave has sent me a photo. Uh, now then, so... I'll tell you what I'm going to do uh, because I do want uh, I do want to share it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop onto it. I'm just going to change my camera. Okay, uh, camera. I'm currently on my phone and I'm going to go to my uh, webcam. Uh, I'm going to go to my webcam camera. Now that's uh, try that one. It might be the same. Ah, there we go. Gonna go to my webcam camera like that, and then while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go onto my phone because I'm going to my phone now. I'm going to my phone. Dave just sent me a message, uh, and I do want to save the picture to uh, my Facebook so that I can share it on my screen. So 
I want to drag that. You have to bear with me a sec now. Bear with me. Click that and crop it. Like that. And like that. Do all that. Come out of here. Into there. And go into mine. Like this. And that one. That one. That one. And it's only me done. Okay. So. I might now be able to, so where's my cursor? There it is. So I'm just going to drop back onto, onto here. Get rid of that completely. I have so many tabs and so many windows open, it's unbelievable. Uh, but that's what you get when you're, uh, when you're rubbish with computers. You any good with computers, Lou? Nah. Crap, William. No, I'm not either, mate. Absolutely. I am, mate. Good, I'm like totally rubbish. My mum's well, good cocker. with him. My mum, she's good with him, but I'm useless. Is she really? Him. Yeah, she's quite good with him. I'm so... All right, I didn't know that. She's really good with him. I did not know that. Uh, I'm trying to find the picture now that Dave sent me. And as usual, because I'm rubbish with computers, I, I really don't know my ass from my elbow. Uh, talk to me about your YouTube then, mate. So you've not posted for uh, absolutely ages now, have you? What's going off? I don't know. I just... I, I've been thinking about doing another video recently, but I always so much come up like when you do the streams and stuff. Usually, when it's club, I've I go out. I've, All right, okay. Usually, I'm doing some other weekend, and then through the week, I've got school. Yeah. So uh, yeah. And then days where I haven't got school, like in holidays, I'll be doing stuff with my mates, or I'll just genuinely forget. So okay. life just gets in the way sometimes. It certainly does, young man. Uh, Davey Housecroft, so I'm going to share the screen. So Dave's purpose-built shed, you can see there, uh, and that massive paint rack, he's actually had that made by a joiner. Just look at that, low. Look at all that nice. MRP. <sighs> that looks like Mr. Hobby. I can't zoom in on this one. Uh, Mr. Hobby, and then all his Tamiya's, and then he's got something else up at the top. I think that's MRP. I think that's MRP. They're the MRP two-in-ones. More MRP. He's got absolutely everything there. And you can see with chair and his benches here over this side. He's literally just a swivel away, isn't he? Christ. It's good, is that one? <laughs> that is good. <clears throat> that is pretty good. It's a proper modeler's dream. Yeah, proper like modeler's dream. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, mate. <laughs> Dave, I uh, hope that was a, uh, a decent picture for you, dude. Uh, and like I say, I would have preferred him to come on tonight, but unfortunately, uh, that ankle ain't cracking. What are you working on at the minute then, Lou? What have you done at club today? I did a bit on a Tammy Challenger 2 and put that to the side because I got this off Graham for 20 quid. All right, let's have a look. Have you picked that up today? Yeah, off Graham. Did one a while back after uh, Clem got me one. Yeah. Uh, but he offered me it last night and I just couldn't turn it down. <coughs> it was a beautiful kit. Yeah, the, do you know what? A, a, a fair play to you, mate, because at the end of the day, you know, you, you can... You can spend an absolute fortune on kits, and it does not guarantee that they're going to be exceptional, does it? No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Well, yeah, you can spend twenty quid on uh, on some half decent. Tam here, mate. You can't go wrong with it, Tam, can you? No, most of them are all right. It's just some of the older stuff that's a bit naff. 
Well, in my opinion, they're anyway. really good. I wonder why they're good at making. Uh, how, how come they're so good at making model kits? I couldn't tell you, mate. I couldn't tell you. But no. I like them, so they work for have me. Ever, have you ever seen that uh, Tamiya? Is it the Tamiya factory or the Tamiya shop on Facebook in Japan? Yeah, seen it lots actually. You say, you know, do you know what? If you saved all your jumping lottery winnings, right? To be fair, I've started moving towards different like brands now, like Men and Barda. Right. Stegosaurus and uh, but the, the Tyrannosaurus, those that, yeah. that kind of range. Yeah, I've got a lot of uh, Meng armor to do. Like I've got a couple of German tanks. I've well, actually, a couple is an understatement, Mark. Do you know what, mate? Listen, it's ninety nine percent, ninety nine percent of the banter and the feedback that you get is literally out of pure jealousy because. I think at 16 year old, and we all know at 16, it, it can be a turning point in your life. <laughs> and uh, the 16 year old kids that's out on the street, that's hooked on drugs, that are getting knocked up pregnant, age 15, and having kids when they're 16, illegal uh, and morally wrong, etc etc dropping out of school not looking after themselves not doing this not doing that and basically and then we, we look at you that comes to literally yeah every club meeting takes all his money out it i mean i mean uh what were it two days after my operation i come into club mm. that was good yeah two days uh and we've looked after you mate as well haven't we yeah We've looked after you. That's because, yeah. uh, and and it's uh, it's only because I'm old school. But that's because at the end of the day, mate, you're a good kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a good kid. Credit to your mum. Very much so. So right, let's have a look. So Dave has said, obviously, with that kit that you've just shown us there, couldn't turn it down. Uh, he's minted, is that lad? I think uh, yeah, Have you been on holiday for the last two weeks? Who? Ah, oh, I thought you went away No, I've been on school holidays, yeah Been on school holidays I thought you meant if I'd been away You confused me there No, mate uh, I know that there's obviously 16-year-olds that have got jobs But I don't think you'll need one, Lodi You just need your mum to pick a couple of numbers out every month Yeah <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, uh, the, funny th the funny thing about that is, uh, and, and it's sods law, you, you'll, you'll buy bonus balls now and you probably won't win for about another two, two years. <laughs> like, I probably you, it's like either. some kind of gambling addiction. Mum, you're picking yeah. the wrong numbers. I'm addicted to it now. I can't not buy any. Can't not buy any. Do you know what? I sell Santa Arabs, me, cocker. <laughs> so... <laughs> So in your shed, in your cave, right? So in your cave, back to the cave. What have you absolutely got to have? For me, just yeah. my model box, because my model box that I bring to club is where I keep absolutely everything: all my paints, all my tools, everything. So for me, yeah. if I didn't have that, I'd be buggered. So does that mean that that model box you take between your mum and your dad's? Yeah. Okay. Which for Pa wouldn't be much of an issue. So I'd, for him, I'd recommend something like heating. Right. Yeah, heating. <laughs> so, uh, funny story. Uh, we are currently talking about uh, because he's gone into a shed, mate, into the bottom of his garden. Uh, he's yeah. he's trying to rip the piss out of me because everybody knows I'm tight as Yorkshire man on planet. In fact, it's tight, it's man on planet. <laughs> uh, and I'm telling him that uh, he, he needs to uh, start start looking for, for best gas prices. Yeah. Because in a shed, I mean, I'm in my garage, like I've said, and I have got my cabinets there. It's not double skinned, it's single skinned, but it, at least it's made out of brick uh, with a tile roof on. And it, it, I mean, it gets cold in here, mate, but it, it doesn't yeah. get that chuffing cold 
uh, that I can't stand it. Whereas Paul was going in a shed. Paul's going in a shed. Uh, and that, that could be pretty nippy, mate. Obviously, you're in the house. Yeah. Uh, so you'll get... Uh, you, you'll get all the benefits of, 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 of your mum. Yeah. Although it depends when I do it because I've not, I don't know. Do. I'm not, so I'm if not you the old. So that again. It depends when I build, to be fair, because uh, sometimes I just won't bother until club and then I'll paint at my dad's and build. So I mainly do it at my dad's oh. now. So I think it works for me anyway. So. Yeah, mate. I'm just trying to think. Uh, I have been chatting with Paul uh, and saying uh, what what he's going to need. So he's got this shed uh, and he's just thinking about where he's going to put. So have you got any shelves anywhere where you display? Not at my dad's, but at my mum's, I've got like a cabinet, like a, not a cabinet, but like a shelving unit. Like a bookshelf, so and that's what I use. So you can turn out kits at a pretty decently fast rate. Yeah, so which, are, which are on know. display and which are like what do you do with the ones that aren't on display? Usually the set at my dad's like on top of my uh, wardrobe at my dad's there's like tons of kits that are just that I've put, I've put out but they're not what I'd consider to be good enough to be put on display in my room. <laughs> oh, now then. What does that mean? Does that mean... How long have you been sort of modelling now? About two years, maybe. Not all? Two years? That might be a post. I'm trying to think. About a year and a half. So you think back to a year and a half ago when you first started. Why did you... What? what, what one day you're not a model builder... Next day, you're building models. How did that come about? Well, I were in Cornwall, and we were in this shop, and I saw a uh, little uh, Airfix 172 Tiger. And because we'd just been to Tank Fest, I thought, oh, I might give that a go. Oh, oh my box has just fallen off away on my bloody wheels in. Right. Do you want to pick it up? They'd be right. They're not going anywhere. Not really. Um, so after we've <laughs> been to Tank Fest, um, I've picked up this Airfix kit and she was like, you're probably not going to do it because it's just be like a pain or something. So she wasn't very keen on it, on oh, the idea. Okay. At the start, yeah. Um, but uh, went to this other shop. Uh, I bought a Revel 172 Fokker triplane starter set. I've got it. It's... Do you want me to go get it? Yeah, mate. Yeah, absolutely. Because yeah. Paul's just... It... Paul's just in the middle of pinging me, saying 10 minutes with a thumbs up. Come on, mate. I want you in your shed. No, so I no, bear in mind that I've ever built 172 our aircraft. Yeah, mate. I was pretty pleased with this. Yeah. It was, it was possibly my first plane. How did you paint that? Well, because the plastic were red and I'd been new to it, I didn't actually realise I had to paint the plastic. Right, okay, yeah, there's no wrong with that, dude. So I just put the uh, decals on. I painted the wheels, which came yeah. out quite quite nice, actually, really smooth. And I painted the guns. That's about it. I'm really pleased that you saved that, actually. The only but... issue I've actually had with this kit is just the wheels because they're very thin. Yeah. But, that's, but a lot of this has got like excess sprue on because I didn't have a proper craft knife. But, I've got so, you. Yeah, it's nice. It's, and then uh, I don't actually have my, uh, that uh, airfix tank because it went a bit wrong. But you know, I did do a uh, Tamiya one seventy two Corsair. Yeah, that turned out quite well considering that was twenty twenty two December, and I'd been doing it for about two months now. That yeah. turned out really well. So that was good. Job to get then, that. Oh, so going from a Fokker triplane, right? Yeah. How then do you end up? What 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 first armor kit that you got and you 
obviously from your first armour kit, then you're going into your second, your third, and and I, and I do prefer to do it like this. Well, what happened there then? My mum ordered me a uh, Tamiya 135 Panzer II for about a tenner. Right, okay. Come to have a go at. Found that yeah. really well. Um, then I got a 135 Tamiya Panther A, cheap 10 right. quid kit. It's fascinating how you can remember all chuffing names. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Funny bit here is she tried to put Drax on for me and broke it. Right, okay. So we had to take it back to get some more tracks. That was sorted, but while we were in the shop, um, that's when I was going to my dad. So my dad picked me up from there. Was that going loco? Oh yeah, in uh, um, Outwood. Yeah, and then I picked up a Tamiya One Thirty Five Tiger Two. Right, okay, One Thirty Five. Right, okay. So now you're getting a bit bigger. Um. After that, what did I get after that? I'm trying to think now. I did a Hobby Boss 1 to 48 scale Fokker Wolf D9. Yeah. Um, what else have I done? I did, oh, actually, one of my first armor kits um, was a Tamiya 135 M4A3 Sherman. Because first right. time I came down to club, uh, I was talking to Clem and he actually gave me a, a, a kit, that Sherman. All right, cool. Remind me yeah. again how you got into club. What happened there? If I remember rightly, my mum dropped you a message, didn't she? She did, yeah. Saying, she, saying, I my can't... young lad, my young son. So you will only have been 15, 14 and a half? About, no, I've been 15. Was it before September? Yeah, mate. Oh, yeah, it'd have been 14 then. 14 and a half. And we do obviously say, you know, down at club, look, everybody's absolutely welcome. But at the end of the day, and I don't want this to sound wrong, we're not a creche, we're not a babysitting club. So although we don't have a cut-off point for an age for people to come, uh, we actually encourage uh Misters and missuses, carers, parents, grandparents to come to the club uh, to sit, but they have to sit with the kids, obviously, because uh, we can't sort of like say, yeah, see you later, pick him up in three hours, love, because uh, that's not fair on us. It's definitely not fair on kids that are coming and doing that. It's like da daunting or what. <coughs> but Louis Sitters are bang the right time, 14 and a half, and Victoria is mum. Uh, who's put a comment on, young lad? I'll just show you that one, mate, if you want to look up and have a look at that little comment there. The minted one. Yeah, the minted one. Uh, and then she's just said he was just 15 when he came to club. Uh, so, obviously, we're not a crash. We can't babysit. But she said, listen, he's quite mature for his age. He's very quiet. He's very shy. Uh, he's my lad. He's my boy. Uh, and uh, he's, he's not been modelling long. Can I bring him? Uh, to come and have a look. So you came down for your first two or three. We met yeah. you, we met your mum, uh, both absolutely great people, fantastic people. Uh, you don't live far away from us. You're about three, four mile away from us. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and you've properly uh, you've you've properly embraced the club low and developed into one of what yeah. well basically one of us I know that sounds really one of y'all are you cloning people uh, no we're not uh, but he has, he has literally turned into one of us comes every time now do you think you've come out of your shell a little bit in the yeah. last sort of 12 months yeah definitely yeah definitely so much so that we invited Lewis to come down to Telford with us last year uh, was that the year that you'd got the uh, pins in your toes yeah it was. I do. Oh, was that the year before? No, that was that was last year. With that, Mark. That was last year. So last year, in uh, September. We, yeah, mate. We we uh, so you just turned sixteen, I think, at that point when Telford's in November. It was just before my birthday because I remember coming in uh, two days after. Yes, mate. Uh, absolutely. Uh, and we got you that really nice birthday present as well, didn't we? Oh yeah. I'm doing uh, that. I'm doing that into a diorama. Are you really? It's uh, what 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 is the coastal defence system that we got you? Yeah? 
the A222 Bereg Russian coastal yeah. defence gun. Yeah, yeah. I chose that for you, mate. That it it looks beautiful. absolutely, yeah, it looks super. Uh, and, and like I said, like, you know, when, when you're bringing her uh, at 14 and Lois's mum, Victoria, lovely lady, she said, do you mind if I drop him off? And uh, I'm really busy, I'm on thing, really. Uh, and you've got to remember that, uh, you know, to have she's saying you were fifteen, but even to have a to have a to have an outgoing fifteen year old sat with a load of airy ass gorillas uh, that are effing and cursing and bleeding it and blinding it, uh, and, and a young lad, a young lad, uh, just just sort of sat there and, and you know and looking round, Lewis, aren't you, and thinking, yeah. Uh, Get, get keep your head down. Just just do some modelling. Keep me mum will be back for me soon. Don't worry about it because it's nerve wracking. It's absolutely nerve wracking. But uh, but on the back of that, and and this is where I have to champion the club. Uh, Lewis, sit where you want, mate. And and you know over the time he sort of like does a little bit of bed hopping, but settles his nest, builds his nest in between Ian and Dave. Uh, to to the most uh, great characters that you could ever meet, yeah, uh, get along really well. Get along really, really well, absolutely. Uh, and and then in that twelve months to see to see a fifteen year old lad go from head down, don't look up, don't look anybody in the eye, just do some modelling. What time is it? Where's my mum? Uh, to coming to Telford and stopping with us for weekend. Uh, coming out, going out for a meal, attends literally every single club, and like Lewis has said, <coughs> even when he had his operation. Uh, 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 I'll get to that in a minute, Dave. Uh, even when he had his operation, you know, and he's uh, you were in a wheelchair, Lou, weren't you? Yeah, I mean, I could walk, but it was uh, not pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Okay, but uh, but but still came to the club and. From a youth, from a youth point of view, uh, it's all right that you've got, and, and, and this is what inspired me again last year for kids for kids. If you've got, if you've got an older generation of builder uh, who's been there, seen it, done it, got kids, got grandkids, you can't teach me nothing. I hate kids. I hate the youth. The lazy gets. This, you know, the the uh, do they call them the millennials and all that sort of stuff, and and you do get older people who are genuinely uh, sort of like biased against younger people. But Lewis, uh, Lewis has absolutely played the game superbly. Uh, I think winning a couple of bonus balls and and rubbing our noses in it, you know, what I mean, it just so uh, it sort of shows a. Uh, it shows a maturity, but it also show, it also shows a bit of balls in us that he's coming in. He's actually turning into a man. He's turning into a dude, uh, and uh, and it's great to see the the beauty of it from my point of view, though, and from the lads down at club is, I take loads of photos, yeah, as you know, and you you can see. You can see the the maturity in somebody's face coming along. You can see them growing in stature. We can see Lewis growing in confidence, uh, not only with his model building, but within himself as well. Uh, and and he's, he's literally changed character yeah. from being a very timid, shy, a down kind of a boy, uh, 14 slash 15 year old boy, uh, into somebody that's absolutely incredible. And, and that's off to you, mate. Yeah, yeah. Houses House in the house says Lou and Vicar what the club is all about, inclusive of everyone. Thumbs up uh, and thank you for that. You're absolutely right there, Dave. Uh, we just need to get your mum a Sherman tank, I think, Lewis. Yeah, I was saying this too. We should have a go at one. Mind you, we did get a um, what was it now? Uh, 172 Gorilla. Not a Gorilla. I've just looked at his comment and he says Gorilla, so I've just gone 172 Gorilla. <laughs> 172 uh, AC 130. Uh, so, Cobra. I, I think it's just a C130, actually, not the AC. C130. The uh, Transport Hercules. Tran yes, yes. Uh, uh, houses in the house. Hairy ass gorillas. Speak for yourself, Mr. Andrews. I think you'll find Dave. 
Uh, not that you will ever be privy to that. So I am small as a baby's bottom. Thank you very much. Uh, and Vic says, and for not getting him tattooed, that's obviously with reference back down to Telford because we didn't half line Victoria up. Uh, we, we didn't. I mean, again, you know, from a, from a parental point of view, uh, Lois, you've disappeared, by the way. Uh, from a parental point of view, uh, and again, I've got I've got George. He's twelve years old. Uh, and if George went and joined a, a, a cricket club, a football club, a what, whatever kind of club, at fourteen years old, and and you've got you've literally got strangers there that are saying, "Yeah, pick him up in three and a half hours, love. It'd be absolutely fine." And you sort of, as a parent, you know, you're trusting you're trusting these this bunch of strangers. Uh, to literally look after your kid and make sure that they're not going to cut themselves and injure themselves in one thing or the other. Uh, be, be, well, bullied, I suppose, for want of a better word. Be bullied and belittled and ridiculed and and, and definitely not. Uh, we, we all took baby steps. We all took baby steps with, uh, with Lewis and made sure that it were all okay. So, and the last comment before I introduce this absolutely gorgeous man, uh, Victoria says, best thing I ever did was message your Mark and get Lewis into club. Uh, Victoria, thank you ever so much. That really does uh, mean a lot to me. Uh, and, and that really sounding condescending in the voice. You've just heard me speaking from the heart. Yeah. Uh, that it's absolutely great having that young man on board. Uh, we love him to bits. We treat him as one of our own. He is our son. He is our club son. Uh, and, uh, and everybody, everybody down at that club, make sure that Lewis is okay. Matt. Yo. I might get this off now because I'm going to get a shower and uh, a few bits and stuff to do. And I'll, I've got to be up early anyway. I'm well, no. watching. Watching Formula One in the morning. Oh, what time is that on? 6 a.m. Mm. So it's like you day. get up about five. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. And the winner is. Lewis, it's been great having you on the live chat this evening. Yeah, it's been uh, a good you for all your input. Good night night night. Night. <laughs> and we'll see you down at next club. You will. I'll see you later. See Have you guys. Night. Cheers. Very Lewis. Uh, Thank you much young man so that leaves me and this fella here let's just uh, let's let's let paul get his let paul get his bearings let paul get his bearings paul we're going to start off by trying to get your bearings straight by putting your phone on its side so i can see more of you and less black at the sides if that's at all possible uh, yeah, go, go, hey, oh, we're on. that's the one, absolutely superb. Well, so my, I've, got, I've, I've got zero computer skills, and Paul's got less than me. Yeah, not very much true. That is very much true because if you've got less than me, then mate, I've seriously got even less than you. I've got, <laughs> I, I never know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm just uploading the, uh, the, the Blackjack uh, video. Uh, but I know, oh, yeah. been, I know you've been busy, mate, because you've just moved house and you've got yourself a brand new shed. Did you see, I am going to just ask, uh, did you see any of the photos that I took today? Of the Blackjack? No, of the club. Oh, no, I've not seen any of that yet, no. Okay, so because uh, let me just have a little look here. Uh, Ma, just, just give us five minutes. I'm just going to sort my heater out and uh, a holder for my phone. Oh, I'll be five minutes. Go on then. All right, you have to chin, chin back away to yourself a minute. I need to hold my phone yeah. somewhere. I need to get some heat on because it's bloody, bloody freezing in here. What what is it gold? Just a bit, mate, yeah. Have you have you got your hoodie on? I've got my hoodie on. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna plug my heater in. Trying to hot water bottle love. No, I I'll 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 get a gas bottle tomorrow. Right. 
I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just going in my shed next door to get a holder for my phone. Up be a right. minute. Thanks for letting me ad hoc. Uh, literally on my own, then, boys and girls, aren't I? Literally on my own. Uh, Got to say, 99. Enjoy the rest of the show. Cheers, Dave. Thanks. Thanks a lot, mate. Uh, and we'll see you all next time. Okay, so now I've got to literally fill five minutes with waffling on. Let me have a little thing on the back of the blackjack video uh, that is uploading right now as we speak. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to change my camera. I'm going to change my camera. Okay, to that one. Uh, let's have a look. It's the. It's actually that one because I've got three. Uh, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to pop on. So you can see my phone here in my older. Uh, I'm going to pop on to Yow Job and see how much of the uh, video has uploaded. So just bear with me a second. Let me do all this. I'll let me do all this bloody technical stuff. So glass. Glasses on, glasses on. Uh, uploaded to your video. So it's it's on, I do believe. You, your videos. Upload complete. It's got 12 views uh, already. Like 12 views. Amazing. It's got 12 views already. Uh, and that were uploaded half an hour ago. Uh, so let me just have a little look here. Uh, this is all about computer stuff that I really don't know what I'm doing. But I don't know how the mouse works. Okay. While Paul comes back, let me entertain you with a little bit of uh it says there videos. So you'll just have to bear with me a second while I do all this. Uh it's finding everything. The content is there. Uh that's the video. And uh let me just have a look here and a play button. And the pause button, there it is. So, if I go back to that uh, and present uh, and share my screen, I mean, just have a look here, see if I can do that again. Uh, I think it's that one, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to click on share on that. I'm going to go back to that. There he is. Here's my boy. Here's my boy. Uh, the logo that you're looking for uh, on the Typhoon is that one. Let me just uh, sort of press play and make that big. I'm not going to spoil it, obviously, and play it all the way through. Uh, so I'm here to uh, uh, chat well, with How are you doing? Oh, so, there he is, look. Uh, I haven't built no for quite a oh, while. Right. Okay, uh, shush, shush, no back, shush, back, shush, shush, back. Right, you've done, you've done, love. You've done, you've done. Bugger off. Thank you very much for that. Okay, so, badass bike is always back. He's back. Could have got one of them, man. Uh, oh, let's have a look. All right, okay. Jesus Christ, what's that? For holding me phone. Oh, it looks like some of the you've taken out at bedroom, but we'll not go there. One of them bendy things. The bendy phone holder. Oh, yeah, mate. Yeah, crack me right up. Absolutely kills me. Right oh, oh, that heater's, that heater's night. I think I'll be taking me hoodie off in a minute. Shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm I'm really glad that that's working for you, Paul. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's have a look here. So on the comments, John says, "Hi, Mark. Good uh, good evening, young man. Hope you're well. Uh, had a few medical problems, but we'll be at the next meeting. Do you know what, John? I was actually thinking about you today. Uh, I'll bear with you, uh, bear with me a second, Paul. I was thinking about you today, John, actually, because. Uh, we keep the. Uh, <coughs> I do write everything down, uh, and I flick through my messages constantly. Uh, I could do with a PA, to be absolutely honest. 
reminded me of uh, notifications and what's happening. And I came across yours, John. Uh, I thought, oh, actually, it's, uh, said that it'd be down in second meeting in March. Missed that one. Uh, today, we've got first meeting in April. Missed that one. But understandable, says John, had a few medical probs, but will be at the next meeting. All right, mate, no drama. <coughs> End of date, we will always be there. So, back to business. Talk to me and the viewers about where you are, what you're sat in. I am now sat in a wooden shed. As opposed to a nice, warm, comfortable double glazed bedroom. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, we've, we've recently moved house from yeah. uh, basically a three up, three down. Yeah. Uh, to a, a, a one down, one down. A one to a bungalow. To a bungalow. Okay. So, we've, I've had to invest in it. What, sorry? I said, there's no wrong with that, mate. I'll tell you what, one day I'm going to be in a bungalow, you know. It's them stairs. Yeah, oh, no. Stairs are killing me. Well, even then, I've just been next door to, to be shared next door to get a few bits, and it's what do you so have? out of breath. It's unreal. Anyway. <coughs> so, yeah, I've had to uh, invested in a, a new shed, see if I can give you a bit of a guarded tour sort of yeah. thing. Come on, let's have it. Let's have it. So yeah. let's start with dimensions. Let, let's start. How big is it, mate? Is it big enough for you to do what you want to do? It, it's big enough for me to do what I need to do. Right, cool. That's number one. As you can see, that is sort of my staff. So basically, um, that's going to be my new sort of workbench area. Yeah. And then yeah. I'll be having. So start. Area down there, that's the spray booth's going to be on that sort of wall there. Yeah, that's me, that's me stash all sort of stacked up in boxes for now. But some of that's going to go next door, and some of it's going to go. You're going to put some rafters above uh, where your head is, Paul. Yeah, no, not in this room. No, no, this will be pretty much as it is. But yeah, most of my kits will go in the other shed now, out the way till I need them. But along the back yeah. wall. It's basically going to be the same sort of thing, but a, li a lot less space between sort of like my work area and me and the shelves behind me where all my completed kits normally sit. Yeah. So yeah. it's basically it's it's a ten by eight, ten by eight yeah. shed. Yeah. yeah. My room was originally a twelve by nine. Ah, it's no. So I haven't, lost, yeah. I haven't lost too much now. Plus, you know, obviously, obviously, the space in the middle, it's not getting used at the old yeah. place. So it's, it's not, you know, but I, I'm thinking by the time I'm set up in here, it's not going to be too much, too, it's not going to be cramped. No. But uh, there's going to be a lot of custom built racks and stuff, I think. I'm going to have to, you know, reorganize it with all my paints and everything go now, obviously. Yeah, right. So any, any hints and tips are much appreciated. Hints and tips. Young Lewis says, what does, what does young Lewis say? Make sure that you buy some more jumpers. I don't know what he's on about, right? Keep warm, I think. Well, yeah, I'm, 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 I've got my hoodie on now. I've just put that heater on, and it's yeah. it's brilliant. I might, I, in fact, it's that good. I might be taking my hoodie off. <laughs> Or, or at least turning the heater off and saving some money. Yeah, I think that's just rubbing my nose in it, mate, in it, turning yeah, the heater no. off because I won't buy gas. Yeah. <laughs> Paul me. Well, I'm, I'm, yet to, I'm yet to save a winter. It, obviously, it's going to be... I mean, you're not insulated or nothing, are you, Mark? So. Well, my body is, mate. Yeah, yeah, well, we know that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. I think by the time next winter, next next winter, I'll be I'll be all insulated and lined like so. I should be good to go anyway. Michelle's so not it insulated. Be too bad. Uh, sorry, my garage isn't insulated. No, because it's just a single skin garage, and I'm yeah. pretty sure that the guy that built it 
you know, when, when he was putting foundations down, he didn't think, because there's, there's a pit as well in this garage, you know, where he's got a carpet over it, a rug. All right, so oh, he's got a pit in it, has it? Yeah, yeah, he's got a full proper pit and everything in it, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, it's where our lass is going to go if she carries on. Uh, <laughs> I'm digging, I'm digging, for Christ's sake. Uh, <laughs> don't be sending CSI around. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that when the guy built this garage, you didn't put the first foundation down and think, I bet Mark's going to be in here in 20 years' time. I better double skin it. Yeah, and insulate it because it'll be cold in here when he's doing his models. Yeah, probably didn't think that. I thought, yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's um, you've been in here. You said it were actually uh, a lot smaller than what you thought. It, it, I might have said that, Mark. I can't really remember, to be honest. But, yeah, I mean... Maybe it's because there was there's a lot of stuff in there. I mean, like you know, you'd easily get a car. You know, if it was empty, you'd get a car in it, wouldn't you? And, I yeah, but say, I've been modelling for seven years, as long as club's been, and I've been in this house since Charlie was born, and that's eighteen years. So for the first 10, 11 year that me and Sal were in here, mate, car were in this garage. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very much so. Though, though none of that defrosting windows on the morning, mate. Uh, in, in the middle of the day, <laughs> yeah. it, it were absolutely lush. Uh, but then somebody shoved uh, an Airfix one in 48 area under my nose, uh, and uh, and you just get sucked into that, don't you? So, yeah, very much so. Yeah, uh, you know, cars on the cars on the drive, and, and Mark's that in the shed. Uh, so, but your shed is built. You've got your electrics all set up, Paul. You've got your Wi-Fi in there. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It seems to be fine. Yeah, we done a speed test yesterday, didn't we? I don't know what that means, like, but it's, it seems fine. Yeah. Uh, so me saying to Paul, so Paul, Paul's rings me up and he's like, "Hee, so what you done?" So I've got my Wi-Fi in my shed. Uh, right, do an old clear on it, mate. Let's have a look at what you're pulling. Uh, and again, because I know nothing about computers, and Paul knows even less than I do, we have to go through the phone, through downloading Ookla speed test. We run a speed test, uh, and turned out some pretty good numbers, though, Paul. Definitely, yeah, yeah, I believe. Well, yeah, I, know. I wouldn't know any Absolutely. different to be honest. Like, but I mean, like, I mean, like that, that device you were mentioning the other day, Mark, about the plug it in in the house and then plug something in in here. I don't think I need yeah. it, I don't think I'm going to need it. Probably not, mate. It sounds to me so, like the Wi-Fi is definitely reaching up to the top of your garden, it, buddy. It's Sky Broadband. I don't know whether that, you know, but, you know, I don't know whether, you know, that makes a difference to who, who you're actually with in terms of Wi-Fi and stuff. You know, if you were virgin, whether it be any difference or whatever, I don't know. Mate, if you're pulling 40 meg, 40 megabits a second, at top of your garden, through your house wall, up the garden, and through your shed. Yeah, it's more than enough is that cocker. Well, the actual the actual router thing, Wi-Fi box is like literally. I can see it from here. Oh yeah, ah, it's pulsing. Yeah. It's for you then, mate. Yeah, yeah, it's doing its job. So happy days. Doing but, its job. I mean, so, go on. I was going to say, well, I'm, I'm, I was hoping, well, being down the other house today, finishing a few bits off, having a tidy up and that. Yeah. So, I, my intention was to come home today and make a start on getting this room set up. And my yeah. cordless drill, my cordless has took the knock. So, I've got a cordless on order for tomorrow. Right, okay. I've got you. I've got you. You know, start setting my shelves and that up and what have you and yeah you know just basically getting somewhere where i can start doing a bit but that's falling flat on its ass yeah because as i said cordless has took the knock so ordered one of them before so that's coming tomorrow that sounds like an amazon jobby oh very much so very much. F another 50 quid of money i didn't have <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Chuffinell, yeah. I I order everything with money that I haven't got, Paul. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah. I think we all yeah. do, don't we? Uh, very much so. So you've got your lights and you've how many electric sockets did you end up plumbing for? I've gone for four. Four singles or four doubles? It, four four doubles. Um and he's a, he's a nice enough guy. Like I've said, I might 
I might have them back to come and put a couple of spotlights in above the actual workbench. Yeah. But there's, there's, there's more than enough sockets because obviously you can you can plug a four-way into the one socket as well anyway, you know what I mean? Yeah, mate, yeah. So obviously, obviously like the likes of me, me, uh, me compressor and the spray booth, uh, they're going to be obviously plugged in permanent. And I don't yeah. really know what else I'd actually use. I can't remember what else I actually use on the workbench. I mean, about, I had a couple of lights. You're, you're on about getting like a, a, a little TV in there for your YouTube and stuff? Oh, yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Possibly that, like. I'm not too sure where. I mean, yeah. Do you know what? I'm not kidding. Right, listen. Seriously, before long... Before you know it, you end up same as me, mate. You end up literally living in here. Alice says to me, and I know she's obviously only taking the piss, but Alice says to me, now, Matt, you only need a bed in that shed. You've got your fridge, you've got your microwave, you've got your reclinable chair. Jesus Christ, all you need is a bleeding bed. And I'm like, <laughs> woman, I like to, I do like to go in the house, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But if you'll get to, so, but in, in long term, though, Paul, you got room for like a little mini fridge, maybe uh, you know, twelve months time. Well, maybe, yeah, but I, I tend to bring all, I, I tend to bring all my beers with me, with me. You know what I mean? <laughs> I never, I never had one in, in me in my bedroom, so in the in the spare bedroom, like so. Oh, that's true. I'm not in and out. I won't be going in and out. I just want to come up here. I'll be here for the for the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what else you need then if you're going to spend a bit of time in there, mate. You need a bucket. Yeah. <laughs> you need a bucket. Yeah. Fuck, I'll just, just, go, just go for a fucking piss. I'll just go for <laughs> Just go against the next door's fence. Yeah. <laughs> Lights, electric sockets, good Wi Fi. Mm. Uh, yeah. Bench setting up. Kits are going next door. And but it sounds of it, mate, you're you're absolutely cracking on. I know it's been a big upheaval for your auntie. Oh, 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 like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, that was that was extremely stressful. To be fair, <laughs> yeah. it was extremely. You know, as I said, do the you know in previous conversations, they, they got divorced about five times. That's not true. <laughs> That's not true. No, there was. Oh yeah, it was. There was some heated debates. Let's put it that way. <coughs> Do you know what? It's a bit warm here. Yeah? <laughs> right, look at your screen. Look at your screen. Look at your screen. Oh, 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 oh. <coughs> Just turn me heat it off. I've had these up before, but uh, but I'm just going to show. I'm just going to show you these, mate. Uh, back into this one. Back into so you can probably <coughs> see. It's just today. Uh, yeah, this is today, mate. This is today. Let's get rid of that. So in this shot, uh, obviously, we've got Mr. Lid, Mark Lid. No hands today, Paul, because she was a little bit badly. I seen it. I seen a post of that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, Billiam and Dave. All right. Uh, Dave look, looking like he's chilling out. Andy that comes all the way from Morley on the bus. Oh, what? Oh, is that Graf Spade he's doing there as well? That's cool. Do you want me to, uh, do you want me to zoom in there, Flower, and have a look? Yeah, yeah. Can you see what scale it is, Mark? Uh, no, it's in that bottom left-hand corner there, isn't it? So I am going to have to proper... That's maximum I can zoom in. Let me put my glasses on. And I can tell you that that's a one in. Looks one and seven. Look, yeah, one in... They don't know one in 74, do they? No, I mean, one in 700, if anything, Mark. Yeah, mate. But, yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, so, Andrew. So, Andrew, uh, Paul, Yeah. It, it comes the equivalent of probably, I don't want to exaggerate, but I don't want to devalue him either. I'll bet it's 25-plus miles on three buses. Buses? Yeah, man. Bloody hell. Yeah, 25. Wow. Yeah, he has to get he has to get a bus from Morley to Leeds, from Leeds to Wakefield, and then from Wakefield to Upton. Blooming out. What, what, has he got much of a 
much of a walk from the final bus or no it's literally drops him outside the center no oh, that's that's not too bad but bloody hell that's that's some uh, what dedication is that yeah yeah just a bit uh mr chris there battling on and again looking uh looking right do you know what these zuddies i do love these zuddies i know i've got the hoodie on uh yeah. but i do like these zuddies i really really do i'm a i'm a bit outdated with mine but uh, yeah good to see bridgie very much so uh and do you know what i was talking earlier about i take loads of photos down at club paul and i will actually uh because i knew that mark were coming today uh, I scrolled through the club's photo album from 12 months ago before we got poorly. Uh, and the guy is literally half the guy uh, that he is yeah. today was 12 months ago. Cancer, what an absolute bastard. But yeah, what uh, our Graham, uh, so we think uh, we think that young Andy comes uh, comes a long way, 25 miles on three buses. We've got Graham that pops in his car, Paul, and comes all the way over from Cleethorpes, mate, which is the equivalent of you coming from the world to us. Graham coming from the other. All day. right, okay, fair enough. Uh, I had a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a giggle today with Andy Blessing because on the last vlog, <laughs> pardon me, that's the whiskey kicking back. On the last vlog, uh, I did say that I did like his stormtroopers there, mate, down at the bottom. Uh, yeah. And yeah. No, but I did call him today and leant over the front of the desk before I took the photo and said, oh, your stormtroopers are looking all right, mate. Uh, and Andy <laughs> will piss himself at absolutely anything. Uh, in fact, mm -hmm. that was the picture that I took immediately after with Heath uh, yeah. pissing himself. Heath's building Spider-Man, Paul. Wow. Wow. I've never seen a I, I remember I remember kits back in the day of, of like movie characters like Dracula and the Wolfman yeah. and that. No, I can't. Used say to glow in, the, glow in the dark bits and everything. Uh, there's, two, Paul, there's two of the main men. Paul looking above his glasses, Dougie looking like very mischievous. I'll tell you what's made me <laughs> laugh about this photo. This down at bottom right hand corner. Oh, I, oh yeah, I'm all right, Jack, with the digesters, eh? Hey? Very much hey. so, mate. Yeah, and do you know what? I think I think between them, I, I genuinely think that the thought I'd not twigged on and I spotted them a chuffing mile yeah. off as soon as I came in. Yeah. I'm saying to Dougie there, can you relax? Can you do me a relaxed pose? So he leans back and Paul's taking piss with the finger. And I said, no, lads, a really, really nice relaxed picture. And that's what I got, Paul. Right, okay. That's, that's yeah, that's cool. Uh, got them too. Then I got uh, uh, a little bit. Of, so, George and Mark, George, Georgie boy, uh, George has got a poorly yeah. finger at the minute. Uh, but the, the, the best picture I've got of the day look at that one, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what would be worse taking one off William or one, one off Ian. Well, I don't. I wouldn't like to take one off Ian. To be fair, no, no, shut that. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, if he puts a bit of mass behind that arm, then that's yeah. going to swing straight through. But the thing is, Dave's face is absolutely yeah, amazing. Brilliant. <laughs> it's like he knows what's coming. It's like so There's nothing I can do about it. I'm going down here. I'm going down here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but no, talking about what you were talking about earlier, I'm just going to flick through. So, can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. What's, what's uh, that character there? What's the cartoon anime thing? I'm, I will explain that in a second, uh, even though I have done already, for the people who were watching earlier on. Uh, that's the uh, the Revel 1 in 48 Euro Fighter Typhoon. Uh, so, so what I did was I, I knew that I'd heard the uh, the character the, the the character name uh, Blackjack before, and I couldn't quite put my finger on it, Paul. So I went on to Google search and I actually typed in exactly what you just said, Blackjack anime, and that is the character uh, that that uh, grown up here. And I just thought, do you know what? With the black and the red. 
Uh, and then obviously you're looking at this with the black and the red, and I thought yeah. that's absolutely spot on. Uh, and with the apps that I use on my phone, uh, Pixel R Express it is, I can overlay things on. Uh, I do like that that shot, Paul. Yeah, but yeah, man, it's cool. See the weather in there down the spine. The different I've, that's that those black marks literally just dry oil paint that I've brushed on. <coughs> Decided to fit the uh, the fuel tank, yeah. uh, and just some different shots, really, mate. Uh, yeah, well, that, that was a bit weird when you sent me them because I didn't realise it because it only showed one picture, and then you can sort of like see behind it. Oh, I see how this works. Is yeah. did you do that on papers, or is that the way Facebook does it now? The way that Facebook did it, mate. Yeah. Uh, All right. Okay, that's pretty cool. But well, you yeah. didn't. If you didn't know it was happening, you'd struggle to find them all. But I only seen one at first. I thought, okay. When I looked yeah, at it again, I could see, oh, there must be more behind that. Nice. Oh, like that. Look yeah, at yeah. that. A spot on is that, lad. Is that sound? Sound as a pound. Sound as a bill pound. That's probably what I'll be doing tomorrow as well, is getting me fishing gear tomorrow. Yeah, mate, getting all that sorted. Cool. Happy days. Happy days. Okay, so uh, so that was uh, that was club today, mate. We had eighteen people in today. Uh, cool. A couple of uh, a couple of old faces popped in who I uh, who I had the privilege to uh, sit and chat with for half an hour. Uh, bonus balls of soul. Uh, we've celebrated Martlin's birthday today by not charging him any subs. Which yeah. is what we do and what we don't do. Uh, next club meeting is on Saturday the twentieth. We have got some random guy coming to the next club. I do believe. I believe so. Yeah, yeah. I'd be uh, be quite cool to meet him. I, you know, yeah. get some video on that. You know, Paul, you're coming to the next club, mate. Are you? You're coming across. Yes. 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 So, uh, me and Paul, for the people who don't know, so the people that watch uh, randomly or just drop on, uh, my lad, as you can see, has just started fishing. Uh, Paul is a bit of a fisherman himself. I've obviously joined the ranks and got myself some tackle. Uh, and I've invited Paul over myself and Bill. We've invited, we've invited Paul over next uh, for next club meeting. And on Friday, we're going to go fishing. On Saturday, we're going to do club. On Saturday night, you're in for the right old treat, boys and girls, because I'm going to have Paul sat here in my chair uh, as, uh, as a bit of a guest of honour, flicking between cameras and, and getting Paul on. Uh, he's actually stopping down at Bill's for the weekend because I haven't got room here no more. I've got my daughter on from university. Uh, and then we're going we're going out for a meal, Paul, on Friday night. Oh, is it the fr oh, yeah, Friday night. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick yeah. you up Friday morning, fishing Friday, uh, back to Bills to get changed, and then we're going out for a meal on Friday night. Uh, we, we're quite a few people from club as well. Happy days. Get up Saturday morning. We're going to the club. Uh, like I said, then we're going to chill out on Saturday afternoon. Uh, we, I, I've not, I, I think. In fact, I know, I know what we're doing. I'm not. I'm not even telling you what we're doing, but I know what we're doing. Keep me in suspense, then, obviously. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So long, so that that ten seconds of pause in there. What longest ten seconds in my life? Uh, yes, yeah, so, yeah. But I'm I'm keeping that a bit of a secret. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, but hopefully, you'll enjoy it anyway. Uh, I'm not sure if it's up your street, but I'm fingers crossed it might be. Uh, Saturday night, like I said, we're going to do the live stream from in here. Uh, we Paul sat in my chair over there. Sunday morning, we're back up at Crackadon. I think we're going to go and do a bit more fishing uh, before Paul departs for home and then I get ready for work on Monday morning. Uh, but uh, uh, hopefully a great weekend planned, and I, and, and I can't wait. I can't believe, Paul, that it's only two week away as well. No, oh, yeah. Do you know hopefully, what, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dig my kit out as well because I've been building a kit up a club, haven't I? Uh, did you take that home with you last time? I, I, yeah, I did. It's here. I've seen it. I packed. I, I, I remember saying to myself, I must keep that to one side and not bury it. 
but I think I buried it. <laughs> well, it's only, the, it's only a little uh, rocket launcher thing. Yeah, mate. Yeah. But I can always bring something else. We'll see what happens. Well, do you know what? On the uh, on the blackjack video, uh, right at the end, obviously, I've concluded with the build, and then I've said, "What am I going to build next?" Uh, and don't spoil it. I said, don't, no, don't spoil it. it. You know what I'm going to chuff in build. Oh, I don't know. You you've mentioned a couple of things over the last couple of days. Well, don't say that now because you're going to make me start doubting myself. I said that I was going to start the chuffing boat. Yeah, right? but. But the intruder got to mention a few times as well. Yes, it did. But you've also just reminded me, mate, that I've also got the Russian book missile system. Yeah. So what am I going to do now? So now you don't know what you're doing next now, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. No. Uh, and I can't even see that. I can't even see my stash uh, because it's behind a, a, an old telly that we don't use. It's parked up there at the side of the garage. Uh, no, what? What? That's absolutely no. I'm still going to do the boat. Oh, right. Okay. Don't even go there. Don't even go there. I said I was going to do the boat. Well, do the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do I didn't. If, if you were telling me what you were doing at the end of the, the blackjack video, I didn't want to know. <coughs> I wanted that to be a surprise. I didn't want any spoilers. I know, but I'm so <coughs> sure now that I, I genuinely don't know whether I want to do that boat. But don't do it. <laughs> I'm. I'm gonna do the boat. It's up to you. Do the boat if you want. I'm not bothered. Yeah, but am I not what, am I gonna, what am I going to do next? <clears throat> you, well, we both we both said we both said that uh, some so, somebody I think it was James had strong armed us into into doing a boat. Yeah, and hey, he's jumped to Edward. Has we? <clears throat> We've got some catching up to do, mate. So you, you know, know what, what I mean. If I throw it under Lewis's front door and said, "Just catch me up to James," it'd be pri it'd be pri primed by tomorrow. <laughs> no, I'm gonna do. Uh, look at me now. Even the pause is scary. I'm gonna. Am I gonna? Am I gonna do the boat? Am I gonna do the boat? Are you gonna do the boat? I'm. A, so you've obviously alluded to doing the boat at the end of the blackjack video, and you spoiled it for me now. So you you might have to just like completely change your mind now, what, mightn't you? Right. Let's. I'll tell you what. Uh, there's not many people watching. There's eight people watching. Let's put it onto comments, right? So I've got a Meng missile book, Russian missile system, one in thirty-five. I've got the Italieri, one in thirty-five, mass five six eight, torpedo attack boat. The boat. Yes, and I've got an intruder, an Italieri, one in 32, A6 tram intruder, that's supposed to be a mwah kit. Uh, it's a trumpeter. Trumpeter. So are you, are you putting it to the public vote as to what you want to go for? No, there's no, yeah. Well, I am. Yeah, I've had uh, one John the boat. Uh, the, you see, the thing is, the thing is, right, Paul, you know, you know that I don't have a stash because I've got to absolutely love the kit to want to build it. Now, you've got a decent stash, so at some point, you've gone into a model shop, you've seen something online, and you said, I want to build that kit. So I think the difference yeah. is, the difference is, Paul, is that you see something and you say, I, I want to build that kit. Open brackets at some point, close brackets. Whereas I see a kit and I say, that is the kit I want to build now. All right. Okay. Yeah. I get Yeah. I get where you're calling from there. Yeah. So you will buy kits to build at some point. Yeah. 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 Whereas I'm more of a, I've seen that kit, I want to build that now. 
No. Apart from the missile system that I've been keeping my eye on for the last two months, uh, not two months, for the last two years, uh, and thinking at some point I said to myself, I want to build that now because it looks mint. But then I saw uh, when we went to Telford last year and I, I struck a deal with one of the guys that were uh, behind the stall, I picked it down, it was marked up at 125 quid. I got 100 in my pocket and I went, take 100 cash for it now, mate. I want this kit. That's all I've got. And he went, ah, go on then. Uh, and again, I've seen that uh, I've seen that intruder done uh, to such a high standard. And again, I'm a modeler that I like to push myself and make sure that I'm doing the best I can. Uh, so that that for me, that's a kit that has to be done. But then James said, buy a bleeding boat. <laughs> So we did. Well, yeah, yeah. It's all James. It's all James's fault. It's actually. Let's just have a look here because, hey, oh, Paul, look at the comment there. <laughs> <laughs> Build a chuffing boat. Build a chuffing boat, James. You're an absolute git. Uh, yeah, I'm going to build the boat, Anna, because am I? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know. What else could be for? That's not my that's not my decision to make. I know, but we've got some catching up to do, you know what I mean? He's gone racing off. Didn't give us a chance, did he? Yeah, yeah, I know, but the difference is, and I know that he's watching, obviously, we're gonna do ours to a standard. And uh, I know it's, it's not a race like, is it? You know what I mean? Yeah, Let, no, let's, let's like, see what yeah. yeah, we'll we'll do ours to a to, to a standard. You know, I mean I, I come. I, what, what did I see? I, I watched something this morning, and a Stuka got a mention. Huh? For some reason, a Stuka popped in, popped up on YouTube or on Facebook or something. Maybe not. What probably wasn't even model related. And that, the Stuka is like the absolute ultimate aircraft, as far as I'm concerned. Love it. So, have you all done? I know what? when I, I know when I was packing away. I had I got the aftermarket interior for it, and that was separate from the actual kit at the time. So when I was packing away to do the move, right. I opened the box of the Stuka kit, me trumpeter one thirty second scale Stuka, mm -hmm. and I put the aftermarket in for it, and I looked at it and I went, oh, oh, you know what you do, oh. <laughs> Yeah, mate. <laughs> so my boat might my, my boat might have to wait. No, no. If I'm building a boat, you're building a boat. Well, I don't know about that. That's not that's not hey, that's not how this hobby works. Hey, 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 calm down. <laughs> now uh, John says the chat has spoken, uh obviously referencing the, the guys who have actually uh put comments on. Uh, and it is, it's the boat. It's John says it's the boat. James says it's the boat. Uh, it, it's the boat. I'll tell you what, I, I've got a bloke here. I'm going to introduce him to you, Paul. Right? Look, at, I can see him pissing himself in the background. Right? Are you ready for this one? Go on. Are you ready? You're building a chuffing boat. <laughs> 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 Good evening. Good, Good evening. evening. Uh, bit of a long day. Bit of a long yeah. day. Sorry. It's all, yeah. it's all yeah, right. uh, we're not. We're not going to dwell on that online. I know that you've had uh, a bit of a personal crisis. So, uh, we're, but anyway, moving on because we know we. I know about that. Uh, yeah, you you strong armed us into into buying boats. We're, well, we're building strong boats. arm. No chance. Paul was the one. Paul was like, oh, I like that. We're buying boats. We're doing a body build. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I managed to find 100 quid stuff behind Sete. Yeah. Paul just went out and spent all his cash, Mr. Moneybag, sir. <laughs> Paul went out and spent all his I cash. I wish. I wish. Uh, and, uh, maybe, back, maybe back in the day, James, so it's not like that anymore, mate. No, I know, mate. I know. Well, yeah, no, it's at the end of the day, it's still your fault. Yeah, yeah, I'll take, I'll take you know full responsibility, I mean? mate. I'm, I'm quite a responsible person, you know, so. And, and so you should, because yeah. it's your fault. 
I do believe the intruders are the next build afterwards. <coughs> oh, hey, up. Hey, up. Well, hey. You've, got, you've got the, Who is you've this got guy the intruder. Here? Who is you've got the intruder. Come from? Nobody's you telling me what to build me. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you, I'll tell you why I'm not starting the intruder right now. The intruder needs uh, a I'll big headset. Okay. Needs a big headset throwing yeah. at him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't know about big headset. It's definitely a, a cockpit jobby. Cock yeah. yeah. You you can't build a one in thirty two pinnacle it's a pinnacle kit you can't yeah. build a one in 32 and and just say Bleh, there it is you've got to absolutely go yeah man that's going to be an intense kit to yeah. sound on that beast yeah definitely mate definitely yeah i'm looking at the um yeah. cockpit as well so quintet yeah. it's got to be yeah none yeah, of you red The thing is, as daft as it sounds, lads, is I've just I've just done this blackjack with my uh, trusty old batch at one eight six. But as you both know, I've got my name down for a harder and Steinbeck Kiev, uh, and I will not be that. That's not disrespecting the Italiani boat because I can use my uh, Infinity, my CR plus Infinity. Uh, but I, I've been saying now for three weeks I want a dedicated point to needle that rush. Uh, we were chatting about last night, James. Uh, I've got my heart set on this Kiev. It is 200 quid. Uh, yeah, yeah. Paul. Uh, 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 <laughs> yeah, what, what, yeah, what, Paul, it is 200 quid. Again, it is 200 quid. <laughs> 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 and uh but uh but i've, I've got to I've, I've said to james last night I could, I could quite easily i've got enough money now to order an evo or something like that paul but i do want i've set me out on, on something and i'm saying fair enough mate you know that's uh, one of them if, you know like anything, if you set your heart on it, you want it more and more. Spoil don't you? yourself, mate. Spoil yourself. Yeah. yeah it's I've, not I've, worked, with that. I've I've worked too long and too, too hard, hard not to have the occasional treat. That is true. Yes, That's what I, I tell my wife all the time, but she's sort yeah. of like, you're not buying another bloody model kit. Yeah, I know my kids <laughs> are quite me, me expensive, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Uh, so yeah, it'll be that's that's literally the picking order. Uh, it'll be uh, it'll be boat, uh, harder and steambeck Kiev for John that is watching. Uh, it's a Kiev, John, and it's uh, it's a shade under 200 quid. Uh, but bearing in mind, I paid 250 for me for me uh, for me infinity. I mean, that one. I paid I paid to where's my camera? There, there. I paid 250 for my harder. But that's a 0 0.15 needle uh that I use for intricate work and I, and I need a dedicated point to. Uh so that's the picking order. Boat brush tram. Boat brush tram. Yeah. Good. Sounds good to me. Or yours is shelving gas bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think we'll be put. I think I'll right? be all right for the gas bottle now till winter. Yeah, I'll have yeah. to save up. I'll, I'll get three gas bottles in for the winter, then I'll be ready. Then, <laughs> what's it like? <laughs> Yeah. Do you know what? I think I think I might just put this heater back on a minute. Hang on. Do you know what I? Ought, I'll tell you what I ought to do. I know. Uh, I'll tell you, you know what I ought to do. Uh, I, I ought to. I ought to go out to my local brick and buy a dozen bricks a week. 
Uh, and then when it gets around to winter, just get somebody in and say, put me another skin on this shed. <laughs> With some insulation on the gap, in the gap. Oh, excuse me a minute. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, dear. Uh, yeah, so, uh, John, uh, yeah, it's, it's 200 quid, mate. Uh, but it's uh, it's gorgeous. It's a, it's a very nice airbrush. And, and like, like I say, I've worked long and too hard to keep uh keep my my 12 year old six foot growing lad uh 80 pound pair of trainers james we are daddy treating himself do you know what i mean yeah 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 mate totally totally so so that's it sorry dog here. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Well, if you're all settled in, then Paul. How do you mean all settled in? Oh well. You're all settled in. Into your shed now. You're all settled in. The house is good to go. Yeah, you're all settled into your shed now. You're all. Right. What's uh, what we got here? Who's that? Jean. Jean. Uh, oh, gaffer missed you all today. Uh, that's Jean. Uh, I did Drew's missing, isn't it? It's Jeannie Jean. Uh, pink hoodie Jean. First lady Jean. Jean cake bacon oh, Jean. Jean. Yeah, sorry. I ain't got my glasses on, so I can't see. It's all a blur. I see Jay, and that's about it. Nah, <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to get the glasses. Yeah, pink lady Drew's Jean. Missing, Jean. Drew's missus. Cake baker Jean. First lady Jean. Jeannie Jean. Uh, not being at club today. Uh, was otherwise occupied with the rooster. Uh, and says, missed you all today. Uh, I, I will. Uh, I'll put the pictures up. I'll put the pictures up, Jeannie, for everybody to see. Okay. Did you do a video today, then, Mark? No, I didn't, mate. Because uh, I will tell you. I'm not going to tell you now, but I will tell you off air. Fair enough. Okay, it's uh, it's one of them, mate. Good, good session. Eighteen in today, mate. Eighteen. Sam, happy days. Which Bums on seats. Bums on seats pays rent, lad. Bums on seats pays rent. Definitely. <laughs> but let me just have a look. So, 10 to 10. Uh, I'm going to call it today because I've got to go and pick Charlie up now from uh, a friend's house. Okay. And I've got, uh, <coughs> and I've got football in the morning with me boy. No worries, mate. Okay. So uh, I will see you. Well, obviously, I'll speak to you both through the week. Uh, I want to thank everybody for watching. I'm gonna drop the people off one at a time because this is what I do. So, James, well, thanks for popping in. That's all uh, right, mate. No worries. And uh and sharing with us. So I'm just gonna uh let well let me just have a look here. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong chuffing button, mate. Uh, 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 da, 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 da. Thank you very much, son. I will speak to you next time. Later, See you later, mate. See you there later. Till Paul. Off he goes, and then it's back to me and Paul. Paul, thanks for coming on. Uh, I've had your voice on with me as well today. Sorry, uh, mate. Okay. Uh, I want to wish you all the success in the shed. I really do. I know it's been a bit of a bit of a week for you, a bit of a couple of week for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's been frustrating, upsetting, but happy at the same time. Take, take out of it what you can, mate. It's it's your new build place. It's what you make it your own. Yeah. Uh, and you'll be absolutely fine. Thank we'll you very much. Uh, uh, it's all right. It's okay. Once I've, uh, once I've hung up on the, uh, on the live chat, I'm just going to have five minutes with you. So I am. I'm just going to kick you out from, for now, all right? And I will speak to you shortly. Sound, dude. Cheers, Cocker. And that leaves you with pretty old me. Which bleeding camera am I on? Uh, that leaves you with me. Sesco and Emsworth Community Scale Model Club. This is how I finish all my vlogs. Or it seems to be 18 boys and girls down at club today. Upton Village Hall near Pontefract. First and third Saturday of the month. 
Uh, if you are bored of hearing me say that, let me tell you, I will never get bored of saying that. Okay. Uh, I did have some uh, some old people in today, uh, and we did have a couple of missions like our Gene there. Okay, okay. But 18, bums on seats, pays rent. So when you run a club, when you've got rent to pay and insurance to buy, bums on seats, pays rent. Okay, well done to young Lewis, and thanks for joining me this evening uh, on winning the bonus ball yet again. I can hear it. It's absolutely pissing it down here. Pontifract, West Yorkshire. Uh, uh, and again, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Thanks for looking at the photos that I took down at Club today. I didn't take that money just enough. Uh, and thanks for supporting me on all the work that I do in my garage without a gas bottle. Uh, I have got, uh, I am going to start the boat. Uh, I know it's been a, a bit of a laugh as that one. Uh, but I am going to, I am going to start the boat very, very shortly. Uh, in fact, once I've finished here, I'm going to, I'm, I'm literally going to get it out. Okay. Because I want to start going through it. In two weeks' time, as you've just heard me say, Paul is coming over uh, for the weekend. Uh, Paul, uh, I don't, I don't want to sound condescending. Don't get out much, but he don't get out much. So we've invited him all the way over from the Wirral over to West Yorkshire uh, on the Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and I personally can't wait for that. That's I'm hoping that that's going to be a bit bit of a giggle, bit of a giggle for, for everybody. Going out for something to eat, bit of fishing, bit of modelling, bit of live streaming. Uh, as much, I'm going to cram as much as I possibly can into his weekend. It's like his little busman's holiday. Uh, so before I go, thank you ever so much for everybody that's uh, watched uh, and for all your comments, uh, all your great comments, and uh, I will see you all next time.